what's up YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time. People, the White Oak, PA, Pennsylvania toy collector is back. And today, we'll be reviewing my seventh generation one. Toy, and this is my first Generation 1 Autobot. And this is none other than Generation 1 from the 80s and 90s, I think. Generation 1 Warpath. And he's a little tank. And not a bad looking tank. He rolls like rolling things should. And now, for comparison. Next to another Generation 1 toy I own. Shockwave, good old Shockwave. Of course, another Warpath I own, Combiner Wars Warpath. And last but not least, we got a Pretender from Transformers Generation 1 Pretenders. I think that's Skullgrin, if I had... Skullgrin's Pretender. Generation 2 Astro Train, since Warpath was in Generation 2. The cassette exclusive from the Bumblebee movie. Exclusive pack, since I got a couple of these old dinosaur exclusives. Why not? They're Generation 1. Why wouldn't I show them off? And last but not least, of course... Generation 1 Bombshell. But now we're going to get down to transforming Warpath. And for a Generation 1 toy, he is straight and narrow to transform. Disconnect. Not disconnect. Pull this out to reveal the arms. Fold this up like so. Straighten it out. Flip up his little head. And there we got Generation 1 Warpath in his robot mode. And this is a very cute looking Generation 1 Warpath. Sure, it's not accurate to the cartoon, but it is absolutely adorable. And so glad I have this in my collection. And he is an Autobot. I can't get the rub sign to work. Sorry about that. But now, we're going to get down to comparison with some other Generation 1 toys. Why not? Dare I say, why not? Generation 1, Skullgrin. Next to Generation 1, Warpath. He is smaller than Generation 1, Skullgrin. Generation 1 Bombshell. And he's a little bit smaller than even Generation's Bombshell. And last but not least, with his fellow Generation 2 bot, Astro Train, which I will show off once I transform him. And I can transform these Generation 1 toys off camera. Because I'm that good because I've memorized their transformations. I am really good with Generation 1 toy transformations because they're simple. And he is smaller than good old Generation 1 Astro Train. We're going to show him off next to the cassette combiner in his combined mode. Because why not? Dare I say, why not? He's either transform off camera. So I'll show that off once I transform it off camera because I've memorized this combiner, cassette combiner, pretty good. And that's my sister having a few problems upstairs. So yeah, she always has problems. Sorry you're hearing her over that. Over this video. And 
And I have to connect every gun to the uh, robot mode. Just so I don't lose the guns. That's why it's taken so long to transform it. And here it is next to another Generation 1 toy. And this is the Cassette Combiner Transformer. That I own from the Bumblebee Movie Exclusive Pack. So that's an exclusive Generation 1. And the last Generation 1 we're going to compare this to is G1 Shockwave because it's precious. g one precious. Probably wondering, where did I get this Warpath from? Well, I got him from Amazon. Not Amazon, but Steel City Con for six bucks. Is he worth adding to your Generation 1 collection if you're starting a Transformers Generation 1 collection? Yes, these guys are fun to mess around with. Fun to just mess around with and display. And that's all there is to say for this video. If you like this throwback to Generation 1 toys from the 80s and 90s, make sure to like, make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill, moving on and rock on and rock out, YouTube land.